Well, it all started with a little stiffness in my left hand. And they noticed my movement is, was decreasing. Even before the tremor showed up, uh, I was very depressed. In the early 2000s, I started losing my sense of smell. When I compared symptoms with a friend of mine who has been diagnosed with Parkinson's, I started checking the list and saying, I've got that too and that too. We both cried. Dr. Hauser is the person that told me that definitively that I had Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease almost uniformly progresses. What I understand about Parkinson's is there's no cure. The neurons in my brain that produce dopamine are dying off. When your symptoms manifest themselves, as mine did several years ago, 80% uh, of those neurons are gone. I control the symptoms by taking uh, some medication several times a day. I'll need more medication as time goes down the road. When I understood about some of the side effects, I was not very excited about that. The best hope that I've researched and have heard about is the, uh, the pluripotent stem cell procedure. It seems like magic, but it is science. The great thing about pluripotent stem cells is that they can give rise to any cell type in the body. Sherry Gould, my nurse practitioner, called me and said that she had an excellent idea. The upside, the potential side of it is, is phenomenal. It's a different kind of medicine which approaches real healing. So we're at a point now where we need to branch out um, to not just the little grassroots region that we've been able to reach so far, but a national or international level of um, philanthropy. I feel it's really opened up a huge opportunity to find healing. If for no other reason, the possibility that this could be that huge for so many people is, is more than worth opening my wallet. And making an, an investment in a program like this would, would be an opportunity to be on the cutting edge and to really get a foothold in these developing technologies that are ultimately gonna help so many people.